Once in a serene village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a humble monk named Takashi. Known for his unwavering inner peace, he had earned the reputation of being impervious to the pain caused by others. Villagers sought his guidance in times of distress, hoping to uncover the secret to his unshakable tranquility. One day, a young and curious villager named Hiro approached Takashi with a heavy heart. Hiro had been hurt by hurtful words and actions of others and was seeking solace and guidance from the wise monk. Takashi welcomed Hiro with a gentle smile and invited him to sit beneath a blossoming cherry tree. The gentle breeze rustled the leaves as Takashi began to speak. Hiro, life is like a vast and serene lake, he said, his voice as soothing as a flowing stream. In this world, people are like ripples on the surface of the water, causing disturbances with their words and actions. Hiro listened intently, eager to understand how Takashi remained unaffected by these disturbances. Imagine, Takashi continued, that you hold a precious key in your hand. This key unlocks a treasure chest deep within your heart. And what lies within this chest is your own inner peace. Hiro's eyes widened, captivated by the metaphor. Takashi extended his open palm, as if holding an invisible key. This key, he said, is your perception. The way you choose to perceive the ripples, the actions and words of others, determines whether they can hurt you or not. Hiro furrowed his brow, grappling with the concept. But, how can I control how others treat me? Takashi nodded gently. You can't control the actions of others, just as you can't control the winds that stir the lake's surface. But you can choose how you respond. When you hold the key of mindful perception, you're able to see the ripples for what they are, temporary disturbances that don't define the depth and stillness of the lake. Hiro's eyes brightened as he began to grasp the wisdom Takashi was imparting. You see, Hiro, Takashi continued, when you hold the key of perception, you can choose not to internalize the hurtful actions of others. Instead of allowing those ripples to agitate your inner peace, you can let them pass, understanding that they don't have the power to define your true essence. Hiro took a deep breath, a newfound sense of understanding washing over him. So, the key to unshakable inner peace is in my hands, through how I perceive and respond to the world around me. Takashi nodded with a serene smile. Exactly, Hiro. Remember that you possess the power to choose your response and hold the key to preserving your inner tranquility. Just as the lake remains undisturbed at its core, so can you maintain your inner peace amidst the ripples of life. Hiro left Takashi's side that day with a lighter heart and a newfound sense of empowerment. As the years went by, he embraced the teachings of the wise monk, unlocking the treasure chest of inner peace within his own heart, guided by the key of perception. And from that day forward, Hiro lived with an unshakable tranquility that radiated to others, becoming a source of inspiration and solace for the entire village. The moral of this story is that true inner peace and emotional resilience come from within, and they are cultivated through the power of perception and response. Just as a key can unlock a treasure chest, our perception acts as a key that unlocks our inner peace. The story teaches us that while we cannot control the actions of others or the challenges life presents, we can control how we choose to perceive and respond to them. By choosing to see challenges as temporary disturbances, and by not allowing hurtful actions or words to define our self-worth, we can maintain a deep sense of tranquility amidst the ups and downs of life. This wisdom encourages us to embrace mindful perception, empowering us to navigate the world with grace, understanding, and an unshakable inner calm.